One of the neatest things about Christmas is to call your best friends in or your BFF or all of you who, who text now. Call them in and say, let's decorate cookies together because standing at the kitchen table or kitchen sink by yourself is a pain in the butt. So you call your girlfriends in, we all sit around and we decorate. And I'm also sort of lazy. Sometimes I buy the cutout cookies from my local supermarket. Uh, sometimes I make them today. We made we made fresh cutout cookies, but I've also learned you don't just have to decorate cutout cookies. I take store bought cookies and do fun things with them. I found my kids would eat one cutout cookie, yeah, and they had enough of that. But they love a chocolate chip cookie or an oatmeal raisin cookie. I love to buy pfefferness because I'm way past making pfefferness in my life. But my German heritage, I want to use that. So today, I called my girlfriends in. We're decorating Christmas cookies. And, you know, we're doing it at the cookie exchange because it gives them something to do besides eating and drinking while they're playing with you. Okay, so you just have to make up your frosting, whatever you want. I'm doing, I'm in charge of yellow because I'm the duck. I think the best thing about decorating cookies is you get to lick your fingers <laughs> and you get to put red hearts on things. I love red hearts on things. You know, Martha spreads her stuff out and the cookies are smoother, but I like just old-fashioned frosting on my Christmas cookies. And you know what? I buy the frosting out of the can. We have cream cheese frosting no and regular. Oh, yeah. You know really? what? I'm part buy, part me. I like that. I'm lazy. Then I took a store-bought Leibkuchen, or a store-bought Pfefferness, and which I dearly love, and they're just these little white anise cookies. And I put hearts and made a heart wreath and a little bow. Oh, oh that's, that's so nice. And it's just, it's just plain old bought cookie. Experiment. You don't have to kill yourself at holiday time. No stress. And isn't it fun? Oh, it's so much fun. And that's glitter green. Right. Num Jean Num. I haven't decorated. How long has it been since you've decorated cookies, you guys? Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday, Two weeks ago. Tim made a mention that he, I, I, he was, Gene wanted me to decorate cookies, and I said, or make cookies, and I said, I'll make a beef wellington, <laughs> but I cannot make cookies or decorate cookies. Oh, <laughs> This is how you go about having a cookie exchange. Pick a day. Make it, I like it, before Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, people are too busy. Send out pre-emails saying, we're gonna have one, save the date, don't miss it. I like a Sunday afternoon. Nights, they get tired, but a Sunday afternoon, they'll come to your house and play. I collect dishes from flea markets so that when they come, they have plates to take their cookies home on. So they're all separate. When, you, when they walk in the door, they take their cookies, you put their cookies on a big platter, the next person's cookie on the big platter, the next person. Then you get together, we decorate cookies for a while, we have lunch. Then when it's time to go home, everybody walks by and takes, they come with how many people you have. You have 12, you have 15, you got to come with that many cookies, does it? But when you leave, you take a dozen of the cutout cookies, you take a dozen of this, a dozen of that. So when you walk out, you have 15 dozen different cookies. Do not cheat. If you like one brand of cookie better than the other, Tuffy Wucky. You only get one. Tuffy Wucky. Tuffy, <laughs> Tuffy Wucky. You get one kind. And I think a nice thing to do with it is to have, if you're going to bring 15 dozen cookies, bring 15 recipe cards so that they know what your recipe is. That's oh, a nice, that's you know, then you, that's a great you can go home and you have it all together. The biggest thing is, is don't get caught up in stress. Make it fun, make it creative. A lot of times I've had them bring Christmas ornaments along and they decorate a tree and then we take that tree and donate it to an old folks home after the cookie exchange is over. Do, do some fun things, and then at the end, your girlfriends will have wonderful, wonderful, wonderful memories. And do it without your children. Invite your children into the kitchen to do this at another time. 
This is a girlfriend day. And girlfriends need a day without children all the time. Send the kids to grandma's house to decorate cookies. That's my tips on how to have a very good cookie exchange.